Okay, uh, this episode is about the coronavirus, which is spreading across the country right now. Um, I'm camping out in Arizona for the winter. And, uh, you know, I went to the local stores and they were out of everything. Uh, they were out of water, paper towels, toilet paper, alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, you know, all, all those things. But luckily I keep a, um, a supply of, med you know, medical supplies because I'm camping out in the middle of nowhere you know, most of the time. So I have always have, you know, a big container filled with medical supplies. Um, but anyway, so I had a few uh, bottles of hydrogen peroxide and alcohol and stuff like that but i couldn't get like alcohol wipes and um most of your uh disinfectants so i had to make my own and this is if you're caught on guard you know when there's a mad rush uh but by the multitudes uh trying to get all these things um now this is march 20th it's um and the stores are still out of uh, things like um, alcohol and uh, most of your other things that you need. So anyway, I made a concoction. There's a lot of YouTubers, you know, coming up with their antiviral concoctions, homemade remedies and all that stuff. And most of them aren't figuring out the math um, when they're mixing alcohol with these other products. They're diluting the alcohol and you need 60 percent or higher alcohol content on your wipes uh your sprays or whatever you're using now i opted for using a hand spray a, a spritzer bottle um because it's all liquid form and it won't evaporate quick like a handy wipe you're supposed to leave the alcohol 60 percent or higher alcohol on your hands um for at least two minutes so those handy wipes i mean they they evaporate there's very little liquid in them and they evaporate too quick and i, I haven't seen any health organization uh recommend using uh any type of hand wipes or anything even if they're 60 percent rated uh, of alcohol so my solution uh, which i keep in the car because this is what you're going to need when you're traveling uh when you're home you can use soap and water and uh, vigorously clean your hands for two minutes uh, otherwise when you tr you have to go to the store or whatever you need to make some type have some type of solution ready and you're also going to want uh, some gloves you know in your in your vehicle um, yeah when you're handling uh, especially like uh, gas pumps i haven't heard anyone say about gas pumps well you got all these transients traveling across the country and some of them have the coronavirus so um you know if you have a spritzer bottle that's what i opted for you can just spray the handle wait two minutes before you handle it or put your gloves on um now okay i'm going to just go into uh my home remedy which was using, I had in stock, I had uh, alcohol, and this is 91%. I had hydrogen peroxide, that's 3%. And you can use any type of um, lotion or, or gel that um, has a scent to it. I just put that in, uh, that's, you know, good for your skin and everything. Um, that helps to prevent the alcohol from evaporating when you spray it on your hands or whatever. Because like I say, it's supposed to stay on the surface, if it's your hand or the surface you're spraying for uh, two minutes minimum. Uh, so anyway, you know, these body washes, you know, scents and stuff help, you know, reduce the alcohol smell and it puts the solution I'm gonna show you into uh like a sudsy type of solution so it won't evaporate quick that's why you add this that it's not really even if it's antibacterial soap hand soap and stuff that's not going to help you really need over 60 percent alcohol in your solution so 
um, what I use, okay, in, the, in my concoction, I'm, uh, I'm going to go into the math because most of the YouTubers are diluting their alcohol too much. Uh, and it's getting below 60% alcohol. Okay, this alcohol I'm using is 91% um, pure rubbing alcohol. Um, the hydrogen peroxide is typically 3%, but this, this, this amount of, um, can change. And I'm going to show you how to figure out how to determine if you, after you've mixed all your ingredients together, if you have over 60% alcohol left in the solution, which is very important. You need over 60% alcohol to kill the coronavirus. Okay, and this, and this um, I'm using 9 ounces. And you can, instead of ounces, you can use tablespoons or whatever measuring method, but you got to keep it the same for all, all, all of your concoctions you're putting in there. I'm using one ounce of um, the hydrogen peroxide and two ounces of that scented hand lotion gel. Um, whatever your preference is. Okay, to calculate the percent of alcohol that you finally come up with, started off at 91%, but as soon as you start adding all these ingredients, you're lowering your alcohol uh, content of the solution. So anyway, simple math, 9 twelfths, okay, we got 10, we got 12 ounces total in this particular example. So 9 twelfths is 75% of the final solution of alcohol. Uh, the one ounce of hydrogen peroxide is one twelfth. That's 8.3 percent of the solution. And the um, hand lotion gel is two twelfths, which is 16.7 percent of the solution. And I'm I'm mixing them uh, in the ounces. I just use a shot glass basically, and mix them in to your bottle. Okay, so the percent of alcohol I wound up with. Starting off with 91% pure rubbing alcohol. To figure that part out, you have 91%. You, you know, your bottle might only be 60 or 70% uh, your rubbing alcohol. So that's your number. And I came up with up here that that was 75% of my solution in this, in this particular equation. And that comes out with 68% pure alcohol in my lotion or spritzer bottle. Which is plenty. As long as you get above 60% after you've added all these different things. And these numbers should add up right here. Your numbers, if you're doing your math correctly, it should add up to 100%. Okay. Um, now you've got to spray your hands with, with this stuff here that I made. And you got to leave it on there. Start scrubbing and everything. And you want it to be on there for about two minutes before you start wiping off anything. Okay, um, Lysol, 99.9% .9%, uh, kills viruses and bacteria. You want that for your trailer or your home. And um, uh, Clorox, bleach, I always keep at least a good amount of that in my supply. Well, I'm traveling, but you know, at home you should have a lot of that too. That's used for cleaning just surfaces. Okay, I've seen people on YouTube making handy wipes using Clorox bleach. You do not want to do that. That's a very potent chemical. It has 6% um, uh, chlorine in it. You do not want to be wiping that on your body. I've seen guys and people on YouTube uh, mixing that in their handy wipes and wiping it all over their hands and stuff. That's a very... Um, that, that's a very potent chemical. Um, and obviously when you get home, then you can, you know, just use soap or dish detergent, lather up for two minutes, clean your fingernails really good, and then wash off. But do it for at least two minutes. Um, <coughs> so, and I actually, I got a little notes here on the bleach, uh, the Clorox bleach. Um, don't use it to wipe your hands. It has a one-year shelf life. So if you have old stuff, if you've opened the container, it's probably not very potent anymore. One ounce of that purifies 238 gallons. So um, if you're using it to disinfect your water supply, 
let's just say you have an issue with your water you're only going to use eight drops per gallon and you leave it in there for at least a half an hour to 45 minutes and that will purify uh, most everything in bad water if you if you got stuck in that situation where you had no water because I couldn't even get water at the stores here for a few weeks now so it's always good to have your uh, Clorox bleach um, 5.7 chlorine um, half a cup and one gallon in one gallon is for cleaning surfaces you know your your tabletops and countertops and everything that's and you want to leave it on there for at least five minutes to kill the coronavirus okay so just one gallon of that Clorox is really handy it'll purify up to 3800 gallons of water if there's ever a problem with water also it's just another emergency thing you should have in your your kit so um, you know the other things uh, while you're traveling not only have your spritzer bottle with your concoction made up and you don't like I say you don't have to use this particular brand of um, body wash you know you but um, this gets the whole alcohol and, and peroxide solution uh, into a lather type of form so it won't evaporate real quick when you spray it on you uh, when you spray your spritzer bottle on your hands and stuff you want your gloves and also you want masks the N95 masks which uh, will prevent the um, uh, the coronavirus from going through if you can't get those I couldn't get those either any type of mask even a painter's mask anything is better than nothing and um, simple thing like goggles and gloves if it comes down to where you don't have the supplies you need because all the stores are sold out uh, so then you, you, know, you do with what you have and like I say that's why I came up with this this solution here that I keep in 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 my Jeep along with uh, gloves so anyway um, I hope uh, you found this useful um, if you're mixing these home concoctions make sure you know how to do the math because almost everything I'm seeing on on YouTube and stuff they're diluting their alcohol um, way way too much and it's lowering in my case it started off at 91% rubbing alcohol and I wound up down to 68 percent which is still good you get below 60 percent and when you start mixing all these ingredients you better do the math uh, otherwise it's going to be un ineffective and I'm still not con uh, co convinced that any of the handy wipes out there are any good they're, they're they don't have much moisture in them as soon as you rub your hands they have, the alcohol evaporates instantly. It's not on there for two minutes, um, which is required. Um, and I haven't seen handy wipes of any t type uh, mentioned by any of the health organizations as a cure to kill the uh, coronavirus on surfaces or, or your hands or anything. So anyway, uh, most of you hopefully are prepared, have, have at least some alcohol at home, peroxide, if you don't have the peroxide, that's okay. You can still, you know, as long as you have the alcohol. And the Clorox, like I say, is only for cleaning surfaces. Do not put it on your body. Okay, uh, this is Eagle Eric in the deserts of Arizona. Hopefully this will be of some help to some of you, especially travelers, people out camping and stuff like that. And, you know, you're going to the stores, you can't get the supplies that you need. Okay, this is Eagle Eric signing off.